yeah, had a pretty big season and um, um, so yeah, we just thought it was best just for me to you know have a bit of a rest and um, yeah, not not do any of this stuff. Yeah. Now, yeah, was the year? It was pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, it was. It was a good year. Yeah, we thought. Um, yeah, obviously, we um, went above and beyond with the goals that we set for for me and um, yeah, we thought it was a really good season. Yeah. There's been a lot of talk about you throughout the year. How have you handled all that speculation? Um, yeah, I, th- I feel like I'm usually pretty good with um, you know a lot of the. Yeah, headspace and not not looking into it too much. And um, yeah, it is tough when your mum posts it on Facebook every time you, you, she sees your face there. But um, yeah, it, it's yeah, I've been pretty good with it. Some like going number one, others don't want that pressure. If that was yours, how would you feel about it? Um, yeah, I feel like um, yeah, at the start it was just trying to yeah get get my foot in the door and get me drafted. But and then yeah, obviously getting my name out there a bit. I think yeah, for a, a bit of a goal for me was yeah to try go number one. So I feel like yeah, for me it would be good. Would you make it? Uh, Crows and also I think another club Richmond maybe um, making a big deal to try and, and get that number one pick. Um, yeah, obviously, yeah, it's a, it's a big honour to have yeah clubs put up put up that that for yourself. But um, yeah, I feel like it's um it's, it's gonna be, it's a bit crazy, but um, yeah, I feel like it's, it'll, it will take care of itself. It's a big tag. Do you embrace uh, life as the number one pick. Yeah, I do. I, I feel like yeah, I'm, I'm really good at embracing, um, you know, where where I am at the moment, and um, yeah, I feel like I'm really good with that aspect of of, of it. So yeah. Um, life outside of football, how do you think you prepared now, having uh, leaving school and having a effectively year in the workforce? Yeah, I feel like um, yeah, it really benefited me. Um, yeah, we had a long think about it with my family and. Um, yeah, I just thought the work life was obviously yeah, going to be a bit more beneficial for me and um, help me um, in the long run. So yeah. In terms of your development, well, your time at South, how, how much has that helped you? Yeah, they've been they've been awesome. South have been um, with me and giving me opportunities and helping me develop and um, you know take the next step up to AFL and it's been yeah it's made it a lot easier for me um, and I feel like I'll be ready for the step. Yeah. Are you starting to see yourself as a North Melbourne player? Oh look, um, it's it's yeah, it's it's hard hard not to, and um, there's a lot of media stuff about it, um, and yeah, look, they've spoken to me and um, said that, but yeah, it's I'm kind of yeah inc- excited to um, have have footy as a you know a job that you can do and do what you love every day. When you said said that, what did you mean by that? Oh, they've just showed showed interest in in me, so yeah. How did that interview go with them? Um, um, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, they they were um, yeah keen obviously, and um, yeah they seemed like a really you know good good cultured club. So yeah. If you do go to them, what sort of an impact can you make from in your first year? Um, yeah, oh, look, I feel like I I can yeah make make an impact straight away. Um, as in, I've had that two years of league footy um, under my belt, and it's really helped me. So yeah, I feel like um, I can make a pretty big impact at the start. If you did go to North, would help having someone like Powell there, who you know pretty well? Yeah, definitely having Powell and um, Phoenix Spicer there as well um, would yeah really help. And um, yeah, someone that I could talk to at the start until I get comfortable with uh, most of the boys. But yeah, that's would be good. Yeah, they they sh- they showed me a little bit, and they. Um, yeah, they showed me the spots that they're, they're missing, and they said they needed a kind of yeah mid mid forward, and they said that I could probably fit into that role pretty well. Yeah, definitely. Like, look, yeah, they're they're doing it rough over there at the moment, and yeah, we're just um, extremely. I think everyone's extremely extremely grateful for yeah what we've been able to do this year and get yeah footy under our belt. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think it was good for me yeah, to come out here and show my face and um, see the boys. I haven't seen them in a couple of weeks, so yeah, it's been good to come out here and um, yeah, meet, meet, get, get to know everyone again. Yeah. How's mum going to handle the move to Melbourne? Yeah, it's obviously it's going to be a bit tougher, I think, but um, yeah, she's slowly getting her head around it. Yeah. No, 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 I haven't just yet, no. Might child, be a good idea though. <laughs> the child minding as well, you talk about balance, did that also help? Yeah, yeah, look, um, um, having Fabian in, into the family, um, he kind of, yeah, structured us up a bit as a family and um, so yeah, he's been really good and yeah, the, the values and stuff he's he's bringing, brung to us has um, been really good, yeah. What influence has he had on, on your football and, and uh, what roles he played, I guess, in your development? Um, yeah, I guess um, 
he's just like any other dad, dad really, um, just with a bit more knowledge of the football game, I reckon. But um, yeah, obviously he's been really good with my footy and developing me as a person and as a player. And so yeah, he's been yeah, tremendous for me.